remote configuration, a term used to describe the ability to dynamically change the behavior and appearance of the application without requiring users to download a new version of your app. I'm gonna teach you how to implement that completely free using uh, Google Sheets. It's that simple. You create a Google Sheet document, you add uh, two columns, one for the key and the second one for the value. And then you copy the sharing link. You don't even need uh, any kind of uh, authentication mechanism or anything else, just the link. However, note that uh, this uh, Google Sheet document that acts as a remote config needs to be public, so that uh, everyone can uh, see and view it, but only you can modify it. Which is why it's uh, not made for storing your API keys. Now, you might be wondering about the specific use cases. When should you use this approach? I'm gonna give you a few examples, but uh, keep in mind that uh, possibilities are endless. You can introduce a new feature in your app and uh, monitor its usage. If any issues are detected, you can easily disable the feature without requiring a full app update. Then you can for example include uh, some kind of a promotional banners in your application and uh, make them visible depending on a current event or the time of the year. You can even offer a custom percent uh, of uh, discounts for uh, new or returning users. You can implement and test uh, different uh, headlines and uh, images in your uh, news application and different article placements to see which one generates uh, more engagement. And there are many other use cases as well. Alright, so this is the library that uh, I have found recently. It's uh, relatively new and uh, I have talked uh, with its author who mentioned that uh, he may include the support for uh, KMP in the future. If enough people show interest, of course. Which is why you should at least uh, give a start to this repository to show your support. This library is available for uh, Android and uh, JVM at the moment of recording this video. It's uh, published on a Jetpack right now, so be sure to include this repository in your project. After that, just copy the library implementation and uh, you're good to go. Now, before we get into the code, let's create uh, one uh, simple Google Sheet document. As the name of this uh, first column, specify key, and as the name of this uh, second column, specify value. This is an important step. After that, in those uh, two columns, we can define uh, as many key and value pairs as we need for our remote configuration. For this demo, I will add a season as a key and a winter as a value. Finally, let's make this uh, document public and available to everybody and then copy the link. Great! The next step in this uh, project, uh, I'm gonna showcase uh, one simple example. On the center of the screen, we have a button that uh, should fetch the data from the Google Sheet. And on top of that, we have a text that will dynamically change based on the value that we have in that same Google Sheet. As an example, I will create here one enum class with uh, four different uh, entries. Then I will create a variable that will hold summer as a value. Below that, we are gonna initialize a fig class, which is a part of this library, and of course a coroutine scope to trigger and fetch the data from the network. Don't forget to add an internet permission as well. Alright, so now in the on click lambda of our button, I will call init function and pass the Google Sheet URL that we have copied earlier. Afterwards, we can call get value function to get the data from the Google Sheet. After that, we can just convert this uh, string value into an actual season in a entry, which uh, would immediately reflect uh, in our UI. Awesome! Now we can launch the application and observe the UI. By default, uh, you'll see here a text that says uh, let's go swimming, because that's a default uh, enum entry of our variable. If we click the button, then the text will change to mountains, because we have fetched that value from Google Sheets that says winter, thus converting that value into an enum entry with a different title. Now, this is still a new library, but yet pretty functional. 
One issue that I have found uh, during testing is that uh, if you add a key in the Google Sheet with an empty value in the column, your application will crash, even if you don't call explicitly get a value for that uh, specific key. But again, I am sure the library author is uh, already aware of uh, most of those things. Bottom line, it's pretty useful little library. Anyhow, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Have you been using remote configuration before, and uh, what solution have you implemented? Was it a Firebase or some other server? Also, don't forget to leave a like to this video, but only if you find it helpful. Thank you for watching.